Education, like technology, is constantly evolving, and sometimes evolving with the help of technology. That's where the concept of edtech comes into play. Educational technology refers to the use of technology to enhance, support, and innovate learning processes. This includes everything from interactive digital learning material like online books or apps, to massive open online courses or learning management systems. Basically, any piece of hardware or software that is oriented toward learning falls into the edtech category. The edtech industry is one of the biggest in the world, so it's in the interest of any educational professional to stay up to date with the latest advancements. In this video, we bring you the top 5 trends in the educational technology industry for 2023. So, the first trend is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is one of the hottest topics at the moment, and for a good reason. With the uprising of the language model text generators like ChatGPT or Pink's chatbot, everyone's looking at AI with a mix of amusement and fear. Amusement because these tools can imitate human writing wonderfully, and create all sorts of creative, informative and, yes, educational material from scratch, with just a few inputs from the user. And fear because these AIs perform so well that many start to wonder if they will eventually be replaced. Most educational professionals, however, agree that AI does not pose a threat to teachers' job stability but constitutes instead a great tool to automate the more mundane tasks and overall enhance their productivity. The second trend is augmented reality and virtual reality. VR was, without question, the king topic in 2022, and remains relevant in 2023. When Mark Zuckerberg announced Meta in October of 2021, it caught the world by storm. Everyone was talking about the metaverse and hyping the potential that virtual reality would bring to every industry. Of course, people were still dealing with the remnants of the COVID-19 pandemic, and the idea of bringing the outside world to our homes was more attractive and plausible than ever. A year later, the hype has significantly decreased, and most metaverse-centered projects, including Meta, have been struggling to make profit. The truth is, VR is still in its early stages, but its potential to make education more engaging and interactive remains. The third trend is gamification and game-based learning. Even if you haven't heard of gamification, you probably have experienced it in one way or another. Gamification is the application of game design principles and mechanics to non-game contexts to enhance engagement, motivation, and user experience. It involves incorporating game elements such as point systems, budgets, leaderboards, and rewards into activities that are not typically considered games, like education, marketing, employee training, or healthcare. The goal of gamification is to increase user engagement and motivation by making tasks more enjoyable and rewarding. Game-based learning works in a similar way. Instead of just incorporating game elements, the whole learning process is a game. And, like most games, it involves winning, losing, and even storytelling. Game-based learning has proven to be highly effective, and it's already being used in many educational contexts, like, for example, customer service training. The fourth trend is e-learning and micro-learning. These two could easily be separate categories, but they are highly related to each other. E-learning simply means learning things online, or through any electronic device. Instead of sitting in a classroom, you can learn from your home or anywhere with an internet connection. Microlearning, on the other hand, is a learning approach that focuses on delivering short pieces of information. It's like getting small chunks of knowledge that you can easily digest and remember. Mocks and online courses have of course been a thing for more than a decade, but the trend continues to grow every year and, especially since the pandemic, e-learning has skyrocketed. Businesses and educational institutions have realized that people are just as productive when learning things face-to-face -face than when learning things online, if not more. It's a convenient way to learn at your own pace and at your own schedule. And the last trend is online proctoring. This one ties very closely to e-learning, since online proctoring is almost exclusively used for online exams. Online proctoring is the process of monitoring and supervising online exams remotely using technology. It's like having a virtual supervisor watch over you during an online test. 
The supervisor can see you and what you're doing through your webcam and microphone, and can also see your computer screen. The goal is to make sure that you're not cheating or doing anything suspicious during the exam. Online proctoring has also been a thing for many years, but its popularity rose significantly after the pandemic, when no one could take on face-to-face -face exams. Even after the pandemic, online proctoring continues to grow, and more and more universities use it to provide integrity and security to their online tests and sometimes to their face-to-face -face exams as well. At Smalltech, we have our own proctoring solution, Small, that uses AI and machine learning to guarantee maximum security. If you want to know more about us, you can visit our website. And if you want to know more about the latest trends in educational technology, e-learning and human resources, follow us on social media for daily content. Links are in the description. We hope this video helped you get more insight into the edtech and technology industry. If you liked it, please give us a like and share the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.